know, it's my father's old building and there's a lot of good memories that go along with this place. I literally grew up in this building. I can't stay away from this place. I mean, I'm here on Saturday and Sunday because I love being here. <laughs> there's always something to do. For someone who spends so many days in this old workshop in downtown Lubbock, Texas, Tony Greer has made a mark on the landscape at night. Neon just has a look to it that, that nothing else does. For more than 35 years, Tony has harnessed the properties and uncertainties of hot flames and electricity, turning the dark West Texas skies into his own personal canvas. It's a complicated scientific process that's a far cry from the creations of his granddad, who built this shop more than 80 years ago. The original blacksmith shop was, was right out here. It was built uh, in 1933, so we've been on this land for a long time. They shoot horses, you know, they did general repairs, you know, they worked on wagons, uh, just everything a, a blacksmith would do, you know, back in the day. But my grandfather would never teach my father blacksmithing. He told him that blacksmithing was, was going out. What he should get into is iron work. So your dad did what his dad did, but in a more modern world, in a modern way. Right, he, he started off doing ornamental iron. He liked the creative side of designing ornamental iron work and building it. Uh, there's a lot of homes here in Lubbock that still have his iron work on them. Most of my adult life, I've been doing neon, so I've really been out of the ironworks part of it for a long time. So when you're not working on one of your commercial jobs and you've got a little downtime back there, your mind starts to wander. Mm -hmm. What's the result of all of that? Well, let me take you over to the gallery and show you a few things. Just a few feet away, part of the old Greer shop is now the Tornado Gallery, where among the contemporary mix of West Texas artists and sculptors, Tony has found his place as a true neon artist. It's just called the crackle tube. You can see all these little bits of glass. They form all different paths for this to take. This is just called purple orb. And what about this bowl? That's a double-walled bowl. Controlled lightning? Yeah, it's controlled lightning. Look at that! And I don't really make my art to sell. You know, I don't, it's really rare that I sell anything. I just make it out of curiosity. What would happen if... What would happen if... That's a question Tony asked himself before starting on his biggest project ever. This monumental animated neon sculpture for the football stadium at Texas Tech University. This is one of the front legs of the horse. It's the most unpredictable. The results can be stunning or they can not work at all. You never really know what you're going to get until it's finished. your attention to our Love newest it. piece of art oh, cool. and Tony Greer put every piece of that art together to make our mask rider. After months of twisting and bending and burning glass, Tony's gigantic neon sculpture is unveiled. And while he's not one for big crowds, Tony admits this is a piece that in a way took better than 80 years to create. It feels good when something comes out uh, like you expected it. Sometimes things come out not as expected, but better. Mm -hmm. 
So it's kind of mind boggling that for the last 80 years, there's been a Greer in this building creating something. I don't have any plans to ever let it go. To a certain extent, Tony Greer has snatched lightning out of the West Texas sky and captured it in fragile tubes of glass. And like the Greer family legacy, it's a glow that may just go on forever. I'm riding my element down here. This is home. This is home, yes it is. <laughs>